And there's one thing I want you to know about me. I am young. <laughs> We've all been young at some point of our lives. Some, we're young right now. For others, it's been quite a while since we've been young. Personally, I've had a lot of experiences with being young. I'm the baby in the family, and I'm the youngest person on the leadership team at church. And it's challenging. I mean, honestly, who wants to put up with their little brother and look, look up to a leader half their age? But with those challenges, there come some opportunities. And that's what I want to talk about, about how we should make being young an opportunity. Being young feels like such a struggle. For example, when you were this far away from getting to that one roller coaster ride. And we all know that roller coaster rides the pressure your parents didn't think that you were responsible enough to have a phone. Some of us still are responsible enough to have a phone. <laughs> Snapchat. <laughs> <laughs> but when we were real young, we wanted some responsibility. We wanted to stay up late, watch our younger siblings. And then reality checks in, and we see that responsibility is a struggle or a chore. We start using being young as the excuse to be lazy. But in 1 Timothy 4.12, it says, don't look don't let anyone look down on you because you are young, but set an example for believers in speech, in life, in love, in faith, and in purity. It's saying that being young shouldn't be an excuse, but being young is an opportunity to reach people and to influence them. Now this verse, it was written by Paul, and it was advice given to Timothy. Now Timothy, he had kind of a problem. He wasn't very confident in himself to be a leader told now, I know not all of us try to be preachers like Timothy, but time and time again, we find ourselves not confident in ourselves because we're young. But Paul shows Timothy that being young shouldn't hold us back when sharing the love of God to people around us. Then in 1 Timothy 4, 16, he says, to watch your life and doctrine closely, preserving them because if you do, you can save both yourself and your hearers. Now, this verse is just amazing, and it's had a is saying that everyone that is listening to me now, or that will ever listen to me or watch my life, I am partially responsible for your life with Jesus. <laughs> Most of you are just like, mind blowing. But about a month ago, two guys came up to me and told me that they watched my life and that they, they looked up to me as a role model and they tried to live their life like mine. And it just shocked me because I didn't think I was old enough to be a role model. But this just shows us how being young is such an opportunity. When, we're, when we talk about Christ and we live like Christ, people see it and hear it, and it seeps into their environment, and they start to grow in their walk with God. And we have tons of opportunities. We can go to our schools, at the mall, at a concert, and even at home we can reach people. Matthew 28, 19, it says, Therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Now, nowhere in that verse it say go between the ages of 20 and 40. No, it says go while now, go now while we're young. Because we're now promised tomorrow or even the next hour. So why wait for someone older to do our job and go? Make a name for all the young people out there so that we'll be known as a generation of young men. 